As I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, recently we got the new build a -boat Halloween update. And guys, there is so much awesome stuff to check out, check out, guys. The other day I did an update video, but I didn't even scrape the surface of everything there is to check out. So today we are going to be trick or tricking. So pretty much, guys, as you guys can see right here, there's been a ton of houses that have been popping up around the build a -boat world. Guys, what, you, what, 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 what happens when you walk up to one of these? I'm sure some of you guys have already figured this out with me. You walk up and you go like, trick or treat. Trick or treat. And the, a person will open up the door and they can literally kill you. Look, I got I got terminated. Are you kidding me? So uh, today we're going to be like, you know, checking out everything about these guys. So uh, I'm actually getting a bunch of candy, guys. As you guys can see, I actually don't even have that much candy. I have a lot of pink candy and I only have about 20 of each other candy. And guys, these guys, these idiots right here will give you a ton of candy. So actually what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to get an angel wing. I'm going to place a ton of candy on the back, guys. So actually this is a little tip for you guys if you are actually, you know, getting into the whole candy uh, hunt, so to say. Pretty much get yourself a jetpack, any kind of jetpack, with a ton of candy on the back. So what happens, if I walk up to here, I can just fly away if it's gonna be one of the guys that wants to kill me. Guys, look. They try to kill me, idiot. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, now I can actually go off to the next one without actually dying. So that's a little master tip for you guys if you, if you didn't know yet. You know, it's a little handy dandy tip. Actually, also works with every single one of the other jetpacks. Pretty much, if you're out of reach of the hand, it cannot grab, but you also cannot walk. So it's pretty tricky to actually not get grabbed. So, oh, 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 is it gonna, what is it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Try to grab me, idiot. Dude, this is like the most unfriendly thing ever, guys. You know, actually, like, can I just say one thing that's so weird, okay? I live in a country where we don't trick or treat. It's not really a thing that we do, okay? But there's literally 364 days of the year where it's super irritating, annoying, and frustrating for someone to walk up to your door. But Halloween is the one day where it's socially accepted and wanted for people to just come up to your door and be like, give me, give me stuff. Ugh. It just doesn't make any sense to me like we don't have that we have something called sint sintomart uh i don't know i don't know if that makes any sense oh i finally got a candy dude is it just me or does the show actually raise the rarity of the candy like i've been killed more than i've gotten candy but yeah pretty much used to make these things out of like paper like a paper thing and dude i made the dopest things when i was a kid man i made a cow i made a chicken one time one time i made steve from minecraft bro crazy <laughs> all right please don't kill me please give me thank you thank you oh my god dude you know what would be even more fun if we actually went by people's plot and went trick-or-treating. <laughs> trick-or-treat! All right, guys, but as you can see right here, the technique that I'm showing you right here is actually very effective. I mean, I've gotten a lot of candy already. I mean, I haven't actually died yet, which is like, kind of like the most efficient thing that you can do. As long as you're not dying, you're pretty much doing a good job. Let's just say that. Actually, I have a bit of an idea that something that might be worth checking out. Oh, boy, dude. I think I might just have thought of like, oh, dude, I just thought of a way that you can like ultimate speed run getting all of the candy. Oh, dude, I don't think anyone has ever thought of this yet. All right, guys, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to build myself a little bit of a just, you know, nothing too special, a little bit of an airplane station, just not, nothing special to get the idea, right? Just a little something like so. All right. And then I'm going to actually configure these to be like this one. Well, actually, that one's going to be F. So and this one is going to be G. This one's going to be H. And this one's going to be J. OK, All right, guys, let me actually save this right here. This guy's right here might just very well be the greatest invention I have ever had. Let me sit down in this chair. All right, I'm sitting. Let all unanchored, guys. Let's see how this is going to go guys okay i'm gonna go into the thing okay actually wait maybe i should use red jets not the purple ones but i just need to need to know if this actually works pretty much if i launch straight into that will it activate the door it opened the door but guys i can still move around look at that guys this is so clever oh my god okay i can go straight into the door okay actually i'm a bad flyer but get the idea okay that was <laughs> that was not very good boom into the door it opens up and i got another candy <gasps> okay wait okay wait 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 wait. Dude, 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 okay wait, this is actually so clever guys i'm actually pretty pretty confident that this will become like the most clever way to actually get yourself um uh the new stuff the the new candy dude this is really good pretty much what you do guys okay it's very simple you're gonna build yourself a very basic airplane right here so i'm actually gonna use red jets by the way because the other ones are a little bit too powerful actually all right there it is all right guys so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm actually gonna do all the key binds so that's gonna be what key again and guys you can also do this with just one uh red jet if you don't actually have the tool you don't need to have the tool this is so good all right all the key binds have been made so guys i'm gonna select all and turn off the collision, okay? And this right here, guys, is exactly all 
all we need to actually do this. Let me sit down and let me show you, okay? On anchor, all I need to do is actually start flying, guys. And pretty much all that I have to do is I have to just very... I mean, this is, I'm flying very slow right here, okay? This is not all that challenging. I just have to fly into the doors. As you can see right there, pretty sure that will be enough. There you go. The door opens up and I actually get a candy. And because I'm actually using the airplanes, like I'm going way faster than I ever otherwise could have gone. Actually, guys, master tip, do not make it top heavy. That is really dumb. <laughs> yeah, boom. There you go. That's another one done. Dude, this is sick. There you go. There's another knocking. Dude, we can knock on these doors so much faster than anything we have ever tried before. Dude, the collision off is a game changer because, guys, usually this wasn't possible because the jet is in the way, but because the jet is actually collision off, like, as you can see, I can just quickly fly around, knock on these doors faster. Like, there's no other... There's only one left. That's how fast we're going. Dude, this is ridiculous. There you go. The door opens up, and we have literally cleared the entire server, guys. If you do this, like, I don't know, like, every 10, 20 minutes, clear every single door, you're gonna have so many candy, it's gonna be ridiculous. Look, I started off this video with pretty much 20 of each, and I almost already have 30 of each one, except the blue one. The blue one is the only one I don't have a bunch of yet. I think the blue one might be super rare. Yeah, guys, the entire server has been wiped clean. And as you guys can see, because I have another jet, I, I mean, the first one just died, and the second one will just keep going. It's lovely. Wow, that is insane. Also, guys, you know what? I'll talk about this right now, because a lot of people actually told me to talk about it. I already knew. I asked Chill Thrill during the recording, but I'm pretty sure it was cut out of the video because it was just kind of like random, right? But a lot of people have been telling me, oh my god, Jesse, we can get boxing gloves if we actually beat the, um, what is his name? The spider? Let's call him Poopy the Spider. Poopy the Spider. Um, if you beat him multiple times, you'll actually get other rewards. So the first time, you're obviously going to get the new harpoon. It's the target harpoon. It's really awesome. One, go! All right, guys. So as you can see, we're here in the new area, the Halloween fighting zone. And honestly, I don't like you, man. What if I jump into the water with him? Can I throw him onto the, like, something? Can I throw him out of the world? Oh my god, he disappeared. Oh, 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 oh. He actually is going. Uh, I got to get back. Oh, he's, I got to get back. Um, am I permanently stuck in this position right now? Is that what I just did? Uh... <laughs> okay, this is not going too good. I have all my health. Oh, actually, I got all my health back. Jump, jump, jump. Let me actually... I actually am not fully sure what the reward is because I actually talked to Chill about it and I told him he should add some more reward that you can get if you beat the actual thing. So maybe there will be other things to get as well. By the way, guys, can I just say that this is by far the most easy and forgiving boss fight Still has done. Look, I don't actually have to like actually dodge this. I can just jump over it. Oh, I actually missed it there. Boom. Jump over it. Jump over it. Jump over it. Jump over it. <laughs> oh my God. It's such a hard game mode. There you go. <laughs> done it without even doing anything. All right. Here. Go here first. Ah, I'm getting killed. By the way, I'm pretty sure you can even jump over this one. <laughs> okay. This one first and that one second. That one third. Okay. All right. That should be the final round of this one. And let's actually see what our reward is going to be. Wait, actually, wait. No, we're going to have to. Okay. Yeah, we get healed. Uh... And we're gonna have to do a thing. Oh my god, I got the run! Got him! One thing I will say is that this is probably one of the most fun boss fights Chill has ever done. Like, I really, really do love this one. <laughs> I love jumping into the water. <laughs> Pretty sure you can forever jump in circles, by the way, on this one. There's no reason you ever have to stop doing it. <laughs> Joop. <laughs> and then it's gonna come back here, and yeah. All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. All right, the final phase of the battle. Let's get it, idiots. Just hold a rock, and you will win. And while you're holding a rock, stand on top of another rock. And that's the ultimate winning strat. Look, he's gonna grab his fishing rod, just as, as a spider does. <laughs> and uh, pretty much, he's gonna grab this thing, and as soon as he grabs it, I will actually pick up a new one. And then with the new rock, I will run towards the next rock. Look, boop. I'll grab the next one, and as I'm walking, uh, as I walk is with this one, I'm gonna stand on top of a new one. And if you keep doing this, you're always going to be safe. Wait, I didn't grab. <laughs> okay, never mind. I got it. There you go. Look, even with the spiders, I'm pretty sure I could just stand next to this guy right now because I'll pick him up automatically as soon as I'm done. Oh, oh, that guy exploded. Uh-oh. Also, by the way, if you are being hunted down by these guys, you can just pick them up and throw them again to reset the timer so that way you'll always be safe. All right, there's the nuke. Get the nuke. And then, guys, as soon as you have the nuke, you have won the battle. He will pick it up, throw it into the lava stuff. Oh my god, I have multiple creatures on my head. Oh my god. There it is. I have a nuke. I have another new, And we get a boxing glove, 125 gold. And that is it. She was actually not yet added the new reward I see. So yeah, guys, pretty much every single time you beat the boss fight after the first time, uh, you will start getting uh, boxing gloves as well as 125 gold. So if you're a starting player and you want to get yourself a lot of gold very, very quickly, do this boss fight like tons and tons and tons of time because 125 gold as a starting player is massive. Okay, I died and I'm going to return back to 
lobby. Yes. So yeah, guys, actually, chill throw is also maybe, maybe, maybe. I cannot guarantee this uh, at all, by the way, but he might also add pumpkin as one of the rewards. So if I, for example, go into the shop right now, I can buy the pumpkins. They're worth 60 gold and turn into a jackal lantern. It's all nice, fun and games, right? But I told chill, it would be just kind of like the perfect reward to get from the boss fight. I mean, every previous Halloween boss fight that chill has ever done gives you pumpkin. So it would kind of be like a perfect hurrah, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you actually turn on the notification bell because we're going to be making some dope build about content. Very short little near future here. See you on the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye.